Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about some properties of kites. So what is a kite? A kite is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides, but it's a special quadrilateral. It's a quadrilateral that has two pairs of congruent sides. However, the opposite sides are not congruent. So it has to be two consecutive sides or two adjacent sides that are congruent. So you can see here we have these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent, okay? So there are a couple properties associated with a kite. Uh, the first one has to do with diagonals, and the second one has to do with opposite angles. So I've got um, a little statement down here at the bottom. We're going to fill in the blanks together, okay? So the kite's diagonals. Well, let's draw the diagonals in there. A diagonal goes from one vertice to the opposite vertice, so there would be one diagonal. And the next one would be right here. Okay, so looking at those two diagonals, it looks like a 90-degree angle, right? And that's because it is. So these two diagonals intersect to form a 90-degree angle. So we would say that their diagonals are perpendicular. Okay, so kite diagonals are perpendicular. Now, opposite angles. So we have two pairs of opposite angles here. These angles are opposite, and these angles are opposite. For a quadrilateral to be a kite, or a property that a kite has, is that it only has exactly one pair of opposite angles that are congruent. So one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Okay, so for example, we could say that this angle and this angle are congruent, and if those two angles are congruent, then the other two angles cannot be congruent, okay? So that could work the other way. We could say that these two angles are congruent, but if that's the case, then these two angles are not congruent, okay? It just kind of depends on what the diagram looks like, what information has been given to us, okay? So with that information, let's do one example here, talking about the angles. So we see we have kite A, B, C, D, and we want to find the measure of angle A, okay? So what we're given is angle B and angle D, and we know that one pair of opposite angles has to be congruent. Well, angle B is 110 and angle D is 50. So obviously those two angles are not congruent, which means angle A must be congruent to angle C. So now we can use what we know about the angle addition uh, for a quadrilateral. Right, we have four sides, so the angles, the interior angles add up to 360 degrees. So I know I can have 110 degrees plus 50 degrees plus, and let's just call angle A and angle C X, right? They're X degrees. Okay, I'm using a variable X there. We don't know what the angle measure is, but we do know that those two angles are the same. So we could say plus X plus X equals 360 degrees. So now we can combine like terms. So right here, we've got 160 plus 2x equals 360. Subtract 160 from both sides, and we get 2x equals 200. And now we can divide by 2 to get x equals 100 degrees. Okay, so now we know that the measure of angle A is equal to 100 degrees. Okay, so A is 100, C would also be 100. And we could check that by adding all four of those together and it should equal 300, okay? So thanks for watching. Those are some properties of kites.